As course administrators begin to build content in Seoul, they must first decide what will work best for them to create an accessible learning environment for their students. In Seoul, content can be posted as a page or a file. Pages can be edited directly in the provided HTML editor. However, if a file, such as a PDF or PowerPoint, needs to be edited, you must first do so by uploading and reconnecting the file path to the newly revised document. Keep in mind, uploading a new version of a file will delete all student annotations for the current file. Pages are ideal if you expect your course materials to be read online and if you plan to have multiple hyperlinks to other content. Pages are also device responsive, automatically read by screen readers, and are much quicker to download and open. Users can also search content for keywords that are mentioned in the text of the page. If using a sole file, uploading a PDF may be your best option as opposed to other file types. PDFs are readable on many devices, provided that the device has a PDF reader installed. Keep in mind, however, scaling may be problematic if the reader is trying to access the document on a mobile device. If you are expecting that your document will be printed, the PDF may be the best type of file to use. Files created in Word and PowerPoint can easily be saved as a PDF and uploaded into Seoul. Note that Word and PowerPoint files require those two platforms to be installed on the device being used to access the document. While many students have access to Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, it's possible not all do on all their devices. Providing your documents on a sole page or a PDF removes any of those complications. It is important to make color and font choices that support readable course materials while also providing alternatives to non-text content for diverse learner access. Text Emphasis Always consider using bold and italics to emphasize text when necessary, and avoid using colored text to distinguish between information. Also, avoid the overuse of text in all caps, as it may be considered shouting to the reader. It is important to keep the use of emphasis in the text to a minimum, as it may cause the content to lose its intended impact. Hyperlinks Try to avoid underlining words for emphasis. Instead, use styles, bolding, and italicized where appropriate, and reserve underlining for navigational links. Underlined text denotes a link to low vision readers and assistive technologies. Also, when adding a link to a page, do not paste the entire URL address, but rather make the link a descriptive section of the text. Images. When using images within your content, you must always add alternative text, also known as alt text. Alt text should be applied to every image you insert into a document or in a sole page, as it helps users with screen readers understand the content of images. This also applies to complex images such as charts and graphs. Tables When a table is created within an HTML editor or pasted from a Microsoft Excel, it can be read by a screen reader and considered accessible to diverse learners. Font It is recommended for course administrators to use sans serif fonts. Calibri, Verdania, Arial, Tahoma, for easy readability on computers and mobile devices. Serif fonts like Times New Roman, Bookman Old Style, Garamond, Lucinda Calligraphy are used only if the content is to be printed, not read online. If your content is likely to be read both online and in print, choose sans serif. Properly structuring the content in a course also aids in creating an accessible learning environment. Course administrators should use proper structure and chunking, such as the use of headings and lists, within a document to make the content easier to read and navigate. If your content exists in a Word document, you can choose to integrate it into Seoul using a page or a file. Choosing to display your document as a Seoul file may be better received if converted into a PDF once editing of the Word document is complete. If you create your document using headings in Word and then convert it to a PDF, the headings and formatting will be reserved and carry over into the PDF version of the file. If you prefer a sole page, copy and paste the content from Word into the provided text area. 
To do this, it is recommended to use the Paste from Word option to retain any formatting already done in Word, or Paste in Plain Text to strip any formatting so you can do all the formatting within the available HTML editor. Whether you use a page or a file, your content should always be well-structured and formatted to accommodate diverse learners in an accessible environment.